All right, what up, everybody? It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to this blog. Here to give you a scout report on Charles Harris, the defensive end coming out of Missouri. Now, like his predecessors, Shane Ray, Marcus Golden, and Coney Ely, Charles Harris is another good DE prospect coming from Mizzou. Now, he's actually hailing from Kansas City, Missouri, and he was a two-sport star in both basketball and football in high school. He was a little bit of a late bloomer, though. He did not play football until junior year of high school, but due to his great athleticism and particularly his footwork, he earned a scholarship for in-state school, Missouri Tigers. Now, actually, for the past two seasons for the Tigers, he's been doing some great work, particularly in stopping them on, on place behind the line of scrimmage. In 2015, he had a blossoming year with 18 and a half tackles for loss, leading the SEC to go along with seven sacks. Now, some people thought that was a fluke season. Now, the numbers did drop the next season due to a new defensive scheme in which he only compiled 12 and a half uh, tackles for loss, actually 12 tackles for loss, and I believe just six sacks. The numbers did drop, but he is still a great athlete entering this year's draft. Now, it's time for me to talk about his strengths and weaknesses. First, his strengths. Now, he definitely exposed off of his stance pretty well coming off the line of scrimmage at the snap of the football. Does a pretty good job bending the knee and getting on the edge. Now, overall, for his speed, though, he is a 4840. Wish it was just a little bit faster, but that's a decent speed to have at the DE uh, position. And he does a pretty good job as far as his hips. And I mentioned earlier his footwork due to his basketball background, which is a great thing. A lot of key players in the National Football League do so great coming, especially with a basketball background, because of their footwork, be able to switch shift from side to side and use his feet well and not um and not be as clumsy as other players and particularly but I think he's a great player to look at now he does have a couple of weaknesses though like I said earlier the numbers did drop a little bit so that shows because of the new defensive scheme that shows that he might take some time to transition to the National Football League defenses and understanding different zones the different schemes different stances and he might have a hard time developing but he, I think he's one of those players once he learns it and he gets it he got it and he will be a reliable player at the next level now, other weaknesses that I do look at, now, he definitely ha um, needs to have a little bit more of a violent approach as far as using his hands um, at the line of scrimmage. I think he needs to do a better job at that. If he uses his hands a little bit more, he could be more of a bigger uh, issue at the line of scrimmage and even disrupt it even more against opposing blockers to, to get to the ball carriers and even the quarterback. I think he needs to do a better job at that, but I still think he has plenty of raw materials, great raw materials in him, and he still has learning the skills that he can develop during his time and the National Football League. I think he'd become a reliable player at the next level. I do have high hopes for him. Now, one last weakness that, that I did notice. Now, we have been seeing on um, players coming out of Mizzou, some great um, players that, to, to look at. He sometimes can lay off some plays, so I did notice that a little bit this past season. He could get a little bit lazy and just sometimes give up. I've noticed that a couple of times. I know people might disagree, but if you just take a look at some of the videos, there were times where because of frustration, Frustration, he might give up a play or two. He needs to work on that just a little bit more and just stay focused. He will be just fine. He does have great um, material with material within him and great skill sets that I do like about him. Now, overall, for my projection, I see him as a late second round pick, at worst, a late third round pick of this year's draft. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys will be in just a couple minutes. I have a lot more blogs for you today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.